What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I know the community has been up in arms about really not having anything to do in terms of resin um, or energy, you know, whatever you guys want to call it, but basically getting to a point in the game where you feel like you're you're locked because they, you can't do anything, right? I can't go into dungeons, I can't kill bosses, what am I supposed to do? So in today's video, guys, I wanted to give you guys the side of someone who is AR41. Uh, I just hit AR41 today, and I want to show you guys how expensive things are and give you guys some steps and some actual stuff that you guys can do right now that doesn't cost you any resin at all so you can prepare for when you actually do get to this AR. The big thing here is I want you guys to kind of understand how expensive things get. So I want you to look at a weapon uh, that I have that's level 80 right now, and I just want to see. I want you guys to see um, how many materials this is actually going to take. So my weapon ascension to get from 80 to 90 literally is going to cost me 27 of these black crystal horns, um, 18 of these weathered arrowheads. Again, I'm not talking about the materials that actually cost resin yes. to get. So one thing I want you guys to be aware of is as you guys get higher adventure rank, you're going to have more recipes unlocked in the alchemy station. So to give you guys an idea, the purple horn is just an advanced form of this blue horn right which is basically the black bronze horn which drops at 40 plus which is an advanced form of the green horn so on and so forth which is an advanced form of the heavy horn which you guys can get at lower levels which is also drop a large hillichurl if you guys are in a situation where you understand what type of material you're looking at for instance like let's say you guys are working on a five star weapon or a four star weapon and you guys know that you're going to be sticking with that weapon for a long time you can look at this base material and put yourself in a situation where you can pretty much farm these out all day <laughs> right so if you guys are have nothing to do or you feel like you have nothing to do you guys can start prepping for your future upgrades so for instance it takes me three green horns to make one blue right and then it, to make the purple horn it takes me a minimum of three blues now understanding that and now looking at the fact that i need 27 of the purple ones it'll take me 81 of the blue and 243 of the green right so like it's if my math is wrong feel free to correct in the comment box but just to give you guys an idea like that's how many of that said material you will need across the board depending on what weapon you guys are enhancing uh, now that is for a five star weapon of course so if you guys are looking at a four star weapon it'll be uh quite a bit less but no matter what weapon you guys are looking at whether it's a bp weapon four star weapon or five star weapon it'll help you get a ballpark figure as to what you guys are going to be looking for for these other materials um this is a great time time to really pay attention to what types of materials you're going to need especially if you guys are gearing up and you guys feel like you have nothing to do uh, because if you guys are going around the world you're gathering mobs you're killing mobs you're getting the materials this is also going to contribute to your total mora and i can tell you that at the end of the day i gotta say the biggest bottleneck is of course the lack of mora but a big part of this game guys is really understanding what you'll need early on so you guys can knock these things out while you do them another issue that players are running into is just the lack of resources so one thing that if you guys are not doing your expeditions, uh, I recommend that you guys start doing these as soon as possible. The reason I say that is because this is going to be your overall flow. So I know a lot of you guys aren't using Faisha for expeditions, but if you guys aren't using Bennett, uh, this is a place that if you guys use either Faisha or Bennett in Mondstadt, you guys get them a lot faster and 15 hours instead of 20. Uh, so this can be a nice steady flow, especially for coins and just econ in general especially if you guys have you know quite a few characters even if you guys don't have quite a few characters any characters that you guys are not using for anything feel free to send them on expeditions it's a nice source for coin and of course uh you know extra material and speaking of extra materials another thing people have is like not being able to enhance their weapons so i know a lot of you guys are saving your resources and stuff so you guys can craft these weapons for the refinements but if you guys have already done your refinements, for instance, if let's say you guys are using Prototype Aminus, you guys went to Dada Upa Gorge and you guys got that knocked out. And then you guys headed over to Leeway and you bought the prototype. Now you guys have farmed out, you know, 100 white iron, 100, you know, the, the magic ore. And you guys use your prototypes and you find your weapon or whatever one you guys decided to enhance. Once that is done, um, I really recommend getting on these enhancement or crafting. So as soon as you knock that out, you guys are going to want to get in here and craft as many as you can and get these into production as soon as you can. Gather the ores around the world. There are a ton of ore deposits that ba basically respawn, you know, every two to three days, depending on what you guys are working on. So for instance, if you guys are grabbing the white iron ore to make the fine enhancement ores, or if you guys are grabbing 
the the regular the crystal chunks to make the mystic enhancement ores like there this is a this is a way that you guys can start early on and you guys can really really help yourself out later game so if you guys are ar20 right now ar25 ar30 and you guys have already crafted your weapons and you guys feel like you have nothing to do i recommend going around the map and this is where your map markers are going to come into play because you guys should have been using your interactive map to find your geoculus and your oculus already you guys can see key spots that i've marked on my map currently just for mining places uh, you guys feel free to rewind the video and utilize these locations uh, but these are locations that i use personally uh, to get ore and as you guys find more ores or ore deposits i recommend that you mark them so you guys can get on a rotation of getting these ores every two to three days uh, white iron is a two-day respawn uh, mystic or is a three day respawn and monsters are a 24 hour respawn. So if you guys are looking for Mora and or just mats, um, I recommend again remembering where these units are so you guys can farm these out because you guys will need a lot. And if that's not enough, I want you guys to take a look at how expensive the talents are going to get. So you guys will need a lot of materials again from the 60 plus hillichurls, hilly but these can be crafted by gathering the lower level materials. Granted, these materials, of course, are resin locked and time locked, but the, the middle material you guys would definitely need. And in terms of the Mora, you guys can see it's costing me 260,000 coin uh, per talent. So there is still a ton of stuff that you guys can do. Not to mention that this compounds depending on how many characters you guys are building in a team. Because if you guys are doing any sort of prep at all, um, then the big thing is you got to pay attention to what materials you'll need for each of your primary characters. So now if I look at my sucrose, I need ley line sprouts, which I can get the ley line branches from the, the abyss mages that are flying around, right? Let's say I'm using Bennett. Now I need to get chaos devices, so I need to farm robots, which you can find all over the place. Now I'm looking at Bennett. Beto, and now I need to kill Sonic the Hedgehog as well um, so I can get his mats. But you guys see where I'm going with this? So like there's tons of stuff that you guys can do in the meantime in between time. And if you guys are having trouble uh, getting the materials, I, I highly suggest looking into doing co-op with friends um, and or just creating a secondary account that you can farm, you know, maybe on your device or maybe you already have multiple accounts because you rerolled. Uh, so that way you can do co-op with yourself or your family or whoever uh, because then you guys can go through the world or let's say me and you did co-op and we get to get in the world we kill all my mobs together or whatever we get all the mats then we go to your world kill all the maps is double the more or double the mats right so you definitely have a reason not not to mention that since the ore is actually instanced uh not the plants by the way but the ore if i farm ore in my world you get ore out of my world too like you get your own instance loot drops and i get my own and then we can go to your world farm the same ore and get twice the amount we can double the, the mats double the resources double the output for the weapon XP and it makes it a lot easier for when you get later game and you're trying to build a bunch of characters but you have to utilize the systems that are in place and last but not least guys um if you guys are doing all that, you're killing the mobs, you're getting the Mora, you're doing the co-op, you're getting your crafting routine going on, getting all your resources crafted, you're doing the expeditions. Um, then after that, it's time to start thinking about future characters that you want to build. Because uh, so far, we've only talked about like your initial four, like, you know, just really paying attention to your primary four characters that you need to build and getting your materials prepped. Because now that you guys at least have a number of how many materials you'll need to, to like build a character, make sure that one character has enough resources. Um, then the next thing is going to be to start to look at characters that you're thinking about building. So let's say in the future I want to build Noelle, you know, and all right, I want to send Noelle. So now my Noelle, I know she needs Valberries, I know she needs Damage Mask, and I know that she needs uh, Prathiva Topaz Silver. Just ignoring the, the the sliver, excuse me, just because, like, again, we're, we're looking at this without resin, that I know that I need to go to Stormbearer Mountains, and I need to go get Valberries, and I know that I need to look at these damaged masks, right? And anything that she's going to need outside of that, then I can start prepping ahead of time, right? So if I'm prepping for characters that shall not be mentioned, then I'm looking for, you know, Star Conscious, right, uh, on, on the shore, or I'm looking for Coral Lapis, or I'm looking for... Calla lilies, right? Or I'm looking for violet grass. But basically, I'm looking at characters that I could be potentially building or using to supplement my abyss teams or dungeon teams or future teams that I might want to build. And then I'm going to start gathering materials and resources for them too while I'm farming mobs to get more. And this is also going to apply to 
you know, you like, again, let's say you guys create another account or you guys already have a secondary account that you guys are utilizing uh, to, you know, farm ads or double your farm out of, you can use that to grab the plants and the other resources that you guys are gonna need. Because to get a character to level 90, is little, it's like 100 and something crazy. Like it's like 160, 150. I can't remember how many total like flowers or pieces of the specific resource that you need to max your character to 90. Um, but these are some of the things that you guys can do ahead of time so you can optimize your time for later. So again, guys, you guys got plenty of stuff uh, to do. I myself personally am working on a secondary account right now that I'm gonna do completely free to play, uh, just so I can pop in there and just you know grab all the mats, you know, one shot the mobs, get the mora. Um, <laughs> but that's something that I'm looking at. And also, um, if you guys happen to run into these hidden events in the world. Uh, where they're just like, you know, dismantle the training equipment for this one that you guys can see here. Uh, this one is also a pretty good, uh, you know, source for more as well. As you guys saw, I just got 1,595 more there. Uh, but there are things that you guys can do just to occupy your your, your guys' time. Uh, so you guys can have enough, again, resources in prep. So if you feel like you got nothing to do, you got no dungeons, you got no flowers or anything like that to raid. Utilize the characters that you currently have. Look at their stuff, do an inventory, take into account what you need, and start to get that stuff knocked out now. It's better to have all that stuff ahead of time, especially since we got major updates coming, new characters coming, we got a new banner probably rolling around with Inventians, and you don't really want to get caught with your pants down. And with that, if there is a new banner, and if it is going to be Kli, then you guys want to make sure that you guys get all the Philonemo mushrooms that you guys can, and of course, the teachings of freedom. If it's going to be Zhao, you guys are going to need teachings of diligence, if I if I remember correctly, and you're also going to need the Kingshin flowers, the ones that, that are at the uh, top of the mountain, you know, the little white flowers at the top of the mountains in Liyue. Make sure you guys get those as well. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover today. I just wanted to take a little bit of time and give you guys kind of like an action checklist of things that you guys could really be doing uh, while you guys are waiting uh, for, you know, future content or trying to figure out what you can do to keep playing because I know how much you guys love this game. So hopefully this was able to help you guys out by giving you an actual like figure that you guys can work towards that you guys can basically assume that that's the amount of materials you guys are gonna need as you guys get ready for 1.1 update on November 11th. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.